Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast with Void. Right. Unfortunately, I didn't plan that very well as night type. But for this episode, I'm going to make a powered furnace and some more steam engines. As well as start building a facility or storage room of some kind. Uh, tree capitator is annoying sometimes. Not to worry. Damn. Stone axes are not useful anymore. Wow. Don't want to use a diamond axe. Cause that's a waste. Anyway, let's grab all this up. Um. Stop making more charcoal. There we go, right. We know how to make the steam engines, but how do we make a powered furnace? Some bricks, some copper, a redstone reception coil, which is a bit, two redstone and one gold ingot. Machine frame, which is one gold, four iron and four glass. And some bricks. A bit of redstone. Okay, not too hard. Let's get some clay. There's some clay right here. Now I have I might as well harvest the entire field because I'm probably gonna make more than one powered furnace in the end. Or I can use the clay for other things. Nope, you dead. Um, yeah, I have some dirt. Three, that'll do. Just a step. Um, right. Let you read for whenever I need them. I also need to make some more axes. Two axes. Right. I need another furnace. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. One piece of charcoal. While that's cooking, I'm good. It's just gonna be out of reach, isn't it? Yeah. I can jump on the cobblestone. There we go. There's a lot in that. And there we go. So we've that taken care of. Whoops. The drills are fairly powerful. <laughs> yeah, a bit too powerful sometimes. Right. There we go. There we go, all we planted. Right. Even left the door open. The copper is done, let's put some tin in. Oh, wait, actually I should do the gold. Oh, I've got some pulverized gold from the, uh... Copper. Right. I'm going to need... Ah, but you got some iron and some glass. I need two gold, however, and two copper. Ah, the reason I want to make a powered furnace is because it's faster and it uses the MJ power source, and that's about to run out of water. 
if the steam engines run out of water they can explode if you try to fill them back up with water without first letting them cool down. So it's, a good idea. it's a very good idea to let them cool down first. Right. Gold. Chuck. Minimal coal. Right. There we go. One, two, three, four. I don't have any redstone in me. I need one. Three redstone. The building part of this. There we go. Um, two bricks. Can do it. Redstone goes there. Machine frame. Reception coil. Two copper. Ingots. And there we are, one power fence. Right, okay. we'll need a little more copper. Two charcoal. We have the iron for the piston. We we'll also need some silver. Don't have. And. Right. Yeah, I think that is it. I've been making the gears themselves. There we go, two gears. Two stone gears. Now I don't need any glass because it uses a reception coil. I think it's a reception coil. Um, what was it? Transmission coil. But yeah, this building is far too small. We need a proper warehouse area. Now I'm going to attach it to, to my original house. But I may have an entrance that requires me to go outside and fight the creepers. Right. How big should this be? Right, I'm going to do a montage of this anyway, probably. But I will keep talking anyway. So the idea of this is to have it automated right set up to where a quarry can be left running without me needing to constantly watch it. And the quarry is something that is basically exists to make a giant crater in your world and give you all of the resources from it but no better than mining the items without an enchanted pick you'll only get one coal per coal ore for example, or one diamond per diamond ore you won't get two or three if you unless you use a fortune pickaxe Right. How the hell did I run out of wood? Right. More saplings. To 
extend the uh, tree farm out. Turning night time again already, wow. Okay, the copper is done. Didn't make edge one mission goal. Okay, uh, okay, 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 right, okay. There we go. Right. Transmission coil made. One piston, two copper gears, and three copper ingots. Makes another steam engine. Right. Now you run out of water. And have stopped working. That's actually a good thing. It means I can start setting up a mild automation process. Right, if I put that there. Engine goes there. Um, yeah. Right. Let's fill you up with stuff. Oh, I don't have a wrench yet. I must make a wrench. I have just the right amount of iron to do so as well. Uh, like that. Yep, there we go. Give him gold, hurry up. Right. Shift right click with a wrench. We'll automatically pick up one of these items. Well, machines. This works on the engines. Without shift right clicking, you can rotate the engines or the machines. Right. You closed. Okay. There we go. It's now loaded with water. All it needs now is fuel. Maximum power of this is two. MJ tick, however, which is all the angel can give. Yes, I can sleep, even though there's a spider on the roof. Come on down. Get down from there. We need more sand to make some glass to make some pipe. Okay, I'm gonna get 16 sand. And then finish off the warehouse section of the um, house.
and see it's only just into the second charcoal that I gave it, and it's already created 20 items. Which is more than enough reason for me to use a powered furnace over a standard furnace. It's more fuel efficient. Right, come on glass, come on. Let me hear one glass. So yes, this is a build craft cobblestone pipe made with one cobblestone and one glass. Got two cobblestone, one glass. It makes eight. Now I test this. I'm not too sure if it will work. The idea is to have it automatically put the balls into this chest. Not being good. There we go. Yes, this is working. There we go. All the ingots will go there now. Which is lovely. Just where we want them. It is a little bit slow though. That can't be helped. See now it's caught up. Right, I'm back to building the warehouse. Never happened. It never happened. Right. Let's not fall down again. Oops, thanks. Yeah, I think I'll make it a bit higher. I would build out of build it out of stone, but I don't really want to spend ages smelting cobblestone. And I don't want to automate that sort of stuff just yet. There we go. Break down the staircase. Make a doorway. Oh, the beehive's getting enough, giving off the light. No particular placement for the torches, just randomly. And let's add a second story. But I don't have the planks right now to finish it off. And I also need to get up the. Whoops. Wrong place. That will do. <laughs> yeah. Right. There we go. Right, finally, there we go. Crafting bench and a door. Sorted. Now 
and that is still going for no reason, it doesn't need to be going. That stopped because it's over capacity. Right. Let's turn something into sand. And block that off so the sun isn't going to the furnace. Here we get that engine started up again. Just right click it with a wrench if it stops working. And it will start up again. There's our car. I wonder. 9.600 or 9600. I'm gonna gather some more sand quickly. In the next episode, I will make a coke oven if I can get enough clay. If not, then I will possibly make a quarry. Need air. Need quite a bit of sand for a coke oven. It's a multi block structure of twenty six blocks. Now, <laughs> it's not a simple one block structure like the powered furnaces and pulverizers and engines, but the coke oven doesn't need power, it just needs charcoal or coal. To make a coal coke, you need to put coal in it. My mistake, you can't put charcoal in the uh, coke oven, you can put wood, and you get creosote oil and charcoal back from it. Right. Anyway, next episode is next episode right now. Oh, you stopped, you run out of charcoal. Get these started. 64 and anyway, that will do for this episode. I will see you guys next time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.